Yes, yes, thank you very much. Welcome back to No Max TV. So, welcome in today's tutorial. I'm going to show you how you can make student reports in Microsoft Office Excel. If you didn't subscribe to this channel, No Max TV, please subscribe first, like this video, share this video to your friends. And if you have any question or issue or suggestion, please leave it in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the notification bell button so as you get notified when we upload new videos video here at no max tv so without wasting time let's get started so i'm going to open microsoft office excel that you see this is excel now after opening excel you see this is microsoft office excel now i'm going to select the area that i'm going to to type this to get reports here now i'm going to insert again come with the text while that you see i'm choose the style that i'm going to use like this let me type student report as title student report for first time so here i can select the area at the top here that i'm going to put uh, this uh, report now this title so you see here now at the top here i match this area then i can then take this title to the top of this so after doing this i'm going to select the area that i'm going to use to type on the details including marks of my students now you see now i want to select this area after this area now i can click on these borders and click all borders so um, i got this area so i'm going to expand this after this all i expanded the column wide now so i click here search for then click format so sorry column format now i click this white after white i can hit 15 I click here, ok so then i expanded lows so by expanding lows i'm going to click here the form schedule and click the format then click this low height so i put 20 so after this i'm going to type the details so i put date here below i put subjects yesterday subjects then name so see names student yes names student names below then subject here on this line you see i'm going to put the first subject biology so biology subject then chemistry subject then english then geography then history so history i put to two marks put max obtain it I put status yes you see this status now so here I'm going to type the names of the student for instance the first student is Eric sorry Eric the second is Peter third is John the fourth is Mary. The third one, the fifth one is so nothing. So that, those are my student. Now I'm going to make these details. So this nothing have 45, 45 marks. This so so 67. So. Yes, you see everyone has his or her own marks that he, he has or she has obtained in given subject now. Also, I can select this area which I don't include. I don't want to be included on my report. For instance, let me select this area. 
yes like this helium so click and merge this yes and maybe this earlier so yes then come back here this on this side i don't want this area to get merged also select this and click this Set this as animated scene. Animate this, then click after animating. I'm going to click in no border. So I set this as border. After this, I'm going to come here on this now. This area I click no border now. So, so no border. So you see, then click now. You also border now. So on top. So you see now this are uh, my full report. Now I'm going to feed this. So to this is the total max of this student. So each total max, the total max of the subject. Sorry. Each subject is considering if it's total max. So each subject is at 100 max now. If it's at 100, now we want to set this and scroll down to get all the students' subject. You see it's 100 max. So now I'm going to click on this the max obtained per 100. So I'm going to, to say that it is equal this plus this plus this plus this plus this one then click enter you see this one is has to 180 person so now i'm going to scroll down and say that's this you see this this one has obtained 280 per 500 so now you see they say this is total max to max for for the subject now then we'll this we take this now we go to here equal say equal this plus this plus this plus this one plus the next one sorry plus this Plus this, so those are sorry. Let's go back. Copy this. Sorry, now the total max is going to be uh, the max of this or five subject one, two, three, four, five. So each subject is per hundred. Now it is going to be. 500 so 500 so means that this total max is 500 now so a student has obtained this max to 500 now i'm going to feed this option here you see this uh, let me click on this option now now i'm going to feed this status now you see this status i'm going to say that student is has failed or not now so to say this i am going to clear this let's say if for instance if student is below 300 will be having faded or if student is having above 300 will be having succeed so now i'm going to say this let me say equal if sorry yes equal if Yes, equal if students if this one
actually equal if if this is it greater than so greater or equal 300 300 equal decision will be pass if not decision will be pass if not will be failed so, pass if not will be faded make, make sure to type this in correct manner you see now after doing this i'm going to collect in see they are saying that uh, i'm going to confirm whether this i uh, have been typing the comment for my form here now i'm going to click yes after clicking the yes i'm going to scroll down for this or you see after doing this or you see i have two students who has been fired now so in this subject after doing this you can also come and type this also type this and i merge this after merging this you can also type yes you can merge this And type this no border now. Can type here so school. Or so you can type also a teacher signature. Teacher signature. Teacher signature. Or parents. So you can scroll down here below. So also on this column, you can type it position. Yes, you can type position, but I'm not recommending you to type position or type of head teacher signature, teachers, uh, head teacher signatures, teacher signature, and parents signatures on this report because you see this report is showing marks and details of the different or many students. So you know, head teacher signature, teachers uh, signature, or parents signature is better if it goes to unique student report so student report for every student so now let me welcome you for the next tutorial where we'll be showing you how you can add this head teacher signature teachers signature or parents signature and even student position in the class also i will be showing you how you can uh, make percentage for every student on the, the detailed marks in microsoft office excel Thank you very much for watching this, this video. See you in the next tutorial. If you didn't subscribe, please subscribe to this channel, Max TV. Uh, like this video, share this video. If you have any question or suggestion, leave it in the comment section so as you can be keeping in touch with you here at Max TV. Thank you very much for watching this video.